Hi, I'm Josh Jackson from Paste Magazine here in the brand new Paste Studio, and uh, my guest today is Lindy Greenwood from Sleepy Hollow, and this is our very first interview in the studio. So welcome, <laughs> thanks for helping us uh, kick things off here in the studio. I'm happy to be here and christen the place. <laughs> so we are both actually up in New York right now from Atlanta, which is where Sleepy Hollow is filming now. How do you like that transition uh, from North Carolina? And you've made it your home now? I have, yeah. I'm I'm loving it. I really like Atlanta. I didn't know what to expect. I had never really been to Georgia and I'd never been to Atlanta. Um, but it has so much to offer. It's, I love that it's got this sort of small town vibe in a way, but it's a big city. So mm -hmm. there's like a lot of really great food, really cool neighborhoods. I loved North Carolina, to be yeah. honest. I loved Wilmington. We were right on the beach. Great, great city. But, um, but Atlanta's proven wonderful. Well, that's great. So, so you started off in the series as a guest, and now you're you're part of the regular crew. How has that transition been, and uh, being part of the team? Yeah, it's been great. I mean, the first season, I wasn't technically a series regular. I was a recurring guest star, I believe. Uh -huh. And every episode, I was checking to see if I was dead. You know, every <laughs> yeah, time yeah, yeah. I got a script, I was like. I'm probably dead this script, but no, they kept me around, they kept me around. Um, and then, so the second season, it feels like you have a little more security as a series regular. You're like, they'll probably at least tell me if they're going to kill me off. Yeah. Um, and so that was a nice, that was a nice thing to be promoted. Um, it makes you feel, you know, validated in some way. We do this really embarrassing thing, acting, you know, like we kind of put ourselves out there and yeah. I kind of feel like I'm always like, ooh, was that, was that okay? Is everyone... Yeah liking it and so to be promoted means you know at least someone's liking it yeah so your character jenny she plays the the sister of of uh abby who's who's uh you know hunting down all these mysteries and and what's going on in the midst yeah. of this now um you're a fighter a little bit and you've got you've got some martial arts uh experience is that right that's right yeah i studied martial arts for quite a while in toronto um kung fu for almost 10 years uh-huh and uh, in sort of a rogue way, like I would train in the park with uh, my teacher early in the morning and eventually she decided, okay, you've got to go to my school and learn from my Sifu because I don't have enough to teach you anymore. Yeah. But um, yeah, so I had a lot of fun studying martial arts for a while, but I stopped because I was kind of always injured and I had no uh -huh. interest in competing, so. Yeah, then do you, does that, uh, do you think that helps you on your set on doing Absolutely. some of these things? Absolutely. Uh, I mean, even when you're not fighting, I think martial arts helps you as an actor just with body awareness mm -hmm. and just, you know, how to walk, how to be physical. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's good. Very cool. Well, um, you know, being a part of something like Sleepy Hollow, which, you know, has this rabid fan base now and coming up here, and have you done a lot of these things like Comic-Con where you get to interact with the fans? Yeah, part of being, part of the bonus of being in a genre type show is the fan base because people are so... Genre fans are such fans. I know, because uh -huh. I'm a fan as well of genre. Um, so these things are like a perk of the job for me. I love Comic-Con. I, I love coming up and like working, but I'm also getting to play a lot as well. Yeah. So we, um, we went to San Diego Comic-Con last year. This year, unfortunately, our panel was canceled, but I still got to go, uh -huh. and I cosplayed. <laughs> uh, who, are awesome. you, who did you show up at? I, I, do you know a comic book called The Rat Queens? Uh-huh, yeah. Yeah, I, uh, D. Okay, I made fantastic. Her yeah, it was pretty great. So you're a Comic-Con fan, then? Yes, this is, yeah. Here. So, yeah. And, and what about this year? Did you bring any, any costumes? This or? year was a little bit rushed because we're real, or this you're one. in the in midst of filming. We're in the midst of filming. Yeah. It was just before we started for San Diego, so I had more time, but yeah. like, where I have to like leave Comic Con and go back to set, you know, right away. Yeah. So, so yeah, we're we're two episodes in. Uh, I know you can't probably give any spoilers, but what can you tell us a little bit about your character's arc this year? What's 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 yeah. it like being Jenny this year as opposed being to being Jenny series? this year is awesome uh -huh. because there's a lot for Jenny to do. The storyline um, that we're exploring with her and another character, Joe Corbin, is just really exciting mm -hmm. and. Jenny gets to be a badass again and yeah. really sort of, uh, you know, be who I think the show has set her up to be. So I'm really excited about it. And I think Jenny Mills fans are really going to love it. Great. Well, thank you so much for taking the time out of Pleasure. your Comic-Con schedule to come visit us. I love it. And uh, hopefully we'll see you around in Atlanta. Yeah. Yeah, let's do that. Let's All drink right. some emergency beer. Emergency drinking <laughs> beer it is. All right. <laughs>